We are beginning tonight with that sewage spill. And in all, roughly 100,000 gallons of raw sewage spilled into the Monterey Bay at Lover's Point today. It took about six hours of cleanup. The crews were able, at that point, to stop the leak. But there is some concern about wildlife in the area. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker is live right now with details. Right, Dan. Now, crews were out here doing routine maintenance work when they hit a valve, broke it, and then that caused the pumping station to flood. Then the sewage headed out into the ocean. Now that the leak has been fixed, all the focus is on the animals that call the Monterey Bay home. There's not going to be animals dying tomorrow, but if you've got an animal which they often do have cuts or scrapes, if they were to get into a concentrated pool of, of uh, bacteria laden water, they could get sick. Experts say we won't know for a couple weeks just how much of an impact the spill will have on wildlife. The good news, it's a big ocean, and the bacteria is already being broken down. We're not in a pond, we're not in a lake, so it's an open system, and that helps a lot, because you're going to have flushing, and you're not going to have it just sitting in a, in a calm body of water, stagnating, allowing that bacteria to grow. It's still a threat to humans. That's why the county health department will post warnings a mile in each direction, urging people to stay out of the water. The leak also forced the closure of the wreck trail along Ocean View. And while it was an inconvenience, those we talked to were understanding. I mean, it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but if there's raw sewage going in, then I guess I'm happy to run around it. That's okay. <laughs> And crews plan to be out here for the next couple of days taking water samples in the area to see just how bad those bacteria levels are. Dan. All right, thanks very much, Bryn. In recent years, there's been some concerns, you may recall, over the aging pipeline system in Pacific Grove, some concerns about infrastructure. We did talk to the Monterey Regional Water Pollution Control Agency. They say that was not the issue with the leak today.